what's up welcome back to Dextroid and in this video we're going to look at how to use your Android phone as your PC so there are many ways to do this but I'm gonna be showing you only few ways to do this in this video because I don't want to make this video very long so to check out other methods all you need to do is check my blog post the link will be in the description of this video there are many methods explained in that post so make sure you go and check it out so in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to use Android phone using a Windows PC uh, you can use the you can use the same uh, method to use your Android phone as a PC on your Mac okay so let's get started so of course for this tutorial you will need a Android phone and you will need to download Andromium OS from Google Play there are two ways to connect your phone to your PC the first way is using the Wi-Fi router but I won't recommend you to use Wi-Fi router because the transfer rates are very slow and it lacks a lot so I would recommend you to use a, a USB cable to connect your phone to your Windows PC the next thing you'll need is a keyboard and mouse of course to control your phone or your PC there are two ways to use your keyboard and mouse the first way is to connect your mouse to your phone directly or use your keyboard and mouse through your PC itself. In this video, I'm going to be showing you by using the keyboard and mouse through PC. But I will tell you how to connect your keyboard and mouse to your phone. The first and the best way is to use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. But if you don't have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, you can use your wireless mouse and keyboard. For that, you will need a USB ODG cable. Uh, this is a single USB ODG cable. What I mean by that is that uh, you need to, you will need a USB ODG cable with two USB ports. So the first can be used to connect your phone to your PC, and the second one can be used to connect the uh, the USB nano receiver of your keyboard and mouse and suppose if you are using a keyboard and mouse with separate wires then you will need a USB OG cable with three wires three wires right so the one will be used to connect your phone to your PC the other one will be used for your mouse and the third one will be used to connect your mouse and this is the best way to um, the best way is to directly connect your keyboard and mouse to your phone for faster operations okay so the next thing you will need to do on your PC is you need to download mirror go software the link will be in the description of this video once you download it you need to install it and then connect your phone to your PC using the USB cable once you do that all you need to do is select USB here and then choose your and then choose your device after connecting your phone to your PC you need to go to settings and then go to developer options and scroll down and enable Android debugging on OK and that's it now allow access now it will start connecting and it will install the mirror go app on your phone okay so all you need to do now is you need to open up the app and open Andromium OS Click on OK and choose Enromium OS and enable permit usage access. Then go back and back and notification access, enable it, allow, go back. And that's it, you can choose the scaling. I will leave it to normal 
and hit on OK and scroll down through notification and click on the notification to open Andromium OS. That's it. Now keep your phone aside and on your PC you can click on this icon to make it full screen. And that's it. Now you can use your phone as your PC and you can see that there is a Windows uh, Windows PC like UI, there is a start button and Andromium OS has its own built-in apps which will give you desktop like UI for example I will open the, the file explorer it has a desktop like UI as you can see that using mouse and keyboard through PC um, is a little slower so I will always recommend you to use keyboard and mouse uh, through your phone So that's it guys, I hope this video helped you, if it did, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one.